Gorilla Tag. Minecraft. Gorilla Tag. Super Mario 64. Gorilla Tag. Ocarina of Time? It's all possible now thanks to, well, custom levels which have been added to Gorilla Tag. So today what I'm going to do is show you guys how to get this all set up and running and I'm going to be real slow and basic about it. So the first things first, we want to get on this Gorilla Tag modding Discord and we want to scroll up from the quest mod releases thing and we got to make sure we get that quest patcher. So we're going to click that link, we're going to go here and we're going to get that Windows installer exe file. We're going to make sure we save that and that's going to require an install. Before we get into that, I want to get all the rest of the files we need here. So on that same page, we're going to scroll down and get the newest version of the monkey map loader. So just download that and it'll go to your downloads folder. And then one more time, we're going to go back to that Discord page and we're going to go over to the custom maps thing. And there's a decent selection already, but they are adding more like crazy, I am sure. So this will constantly change and I'm sure there'll be an unlimited supply of new levels to try. That rhymed, didn't it? Anyways, we'll download the ones we want and I suggest getting this all and put it in a folder all together so it's all organized and you don't have to worry about anything. So I've got all my files in the folder here and now we're going to run the installation. So it's going to tell us, oh, this might be a virus. So we're just going to run that anyway. So don't you worry about that. Gorilla Tag has no viruses that I know of. Hopefully it doesn't. But uh, yeah, we'll get this all installed. We'll run the install thing and this will take a few seconds. You can make note of where it's located, but it's going to basically, once we open this, it's going to do its little starting process and then it's going to tell us, hey, exit this and plug in your quest one or quest two and let's get this train going. So quick way to find where that file's located is just go in your search bar and just type in quest space patcher. You probably can just type in quest or QUE and it'll show up, but that's going to be the, the way to quickly bring this up and open this again. Okay, so once we've got that all set up, we're going to reopen it up. We got the gorilla tag installed. We got everything all set up and we're going to click patch my app. This takes a little bit of time, but I'm going to run through the whole patching the app thing to get it all going. Once this process is done and I screwed this up the first time, make sure the very first thing you load is the monkey map loader. So we're going to drag that directly in. And once that one installs, we're going to see these screens up here, the browse for mods thing. And then we're just going to drag all the levels. We can select them all at once and just highlight them in there and we're good to go. Once these things have successfully copied, we can just exit this app. Then we can go inside the headset and boot up Gorilla Tag. So it's pretty basic. You're going to start off inside this computer room and the trick to getting the computer all set up and going is we just hit enter and that boots up the whole mod menu here thing. And there's a few things you can mess around with that I have not messed around with. But the place we're looking for is map loader. And the cool thing about map loader is that when you select a level, you can sort of see it in like a sphere beside you. So you know you have the right level all set up. You might have to enter a couple times to make sure it's all set up and ready to go because you can see a little preview on the side. But once we have that all set up, we hit enter, make sure everything's all loaded up and we'll, we'll get a, we'll get a prompt on screen to make sure that it's, that it's working. At first I kind of struggled figuring out that part because I was like, how do I get this all loaded? But once the circle turns green, then you're good to go. And then we're all booted up and we got Minecraft Gorilla Tag. I, I have to apologize. My Gorilla Tagging skills are, are not very good, but this is a pretty massive level. It has a huge climbing area at the top that I could not get to. But Minecraft and Gorilla Tag does look really, really cool. Fortunately, we can't build any blocks yet, but maybe that's a future update. And the next level I wanted to showcase is Super Mario 64's Womp's Fortress. It's a classic level. I played this game when I was a kid got this when I got my N64 and it's an amazing game. It's such a good game. People are still playing it all these years later. So new generations getting into this one and thankfully they can experience it all in Gorilla Tag. And then heading over to Zelda, we have two stages. We have Kakariko Village and Kariko. I don't know. I don't know if I'm saying those right, but we've got those villages and they look really, really cool. and. While there's not a huge amount of platforming aspect with Gorilla Tag, it's still really cool to see them in the VR headset and see them in the Gorilla Tag engine, I guess. 
There is some cool elements where you can sort of see inside the, the building with like a camera thing in one of them. And it definitely feels like there has been some level of polish and effort that went into each one of these stages to sort of have their own trick to them. But that's that's the Gorilla Tag, uh, that's the Gorilla Tag modding guide. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys want me to rank the top 10 Gorilla Tag custom levels, I'm going to need some help. So down below, leave me a comment on your favorite custom Gorilla Tag level and maybe we'll make that list. Thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful day. Gorilla Tag. That's, oh, that's awesome.